Many of us do really well in our attempts to eat healthy, but eventually that overwhelming desire for something sweet, whether it's chocolate, cake, or ice cream, pops up. For those of us trying to lose or maintain our weight, this sweet tooth can become a tough obstacle to overcome. So what does this mean? Do we swear off sweets and sugar for good? Of course not. We all know that denying ourselves of these foods will only leave us wanting more and will lead us to overeat them once our willpower runs out. But what if I told you there are plenty of ways to satisfy your sweet tooth without the guilt? Whether something sweet and healthy will do the trick or you need the real thing, we've got over 15 snack ideas to satisfy those sweet cravings without sabotaging your healthy lifestyle. I'll even share tips on how to trim hundreds of calories from your home-baked goods so that you can have your cake and eat it too. If you're looking for something sweet and nutritious, try Orville Redbacher's Kettle Corn. Just two cups popped is only 70 calories and four grams of fat. Plus you get tons of whole grains and the sweet flavor. For a fruit and yogurt parfait, try non-fat flavored Greek yogurt or use plain and you can add sweetness with one teaspoon of honey or a non-calorie sweetener. Top it with your choice of fruit and a tablespoon of low-fat granola. Also, why not try a Fiber One chocolate and peanut butter bar? It's just 90 calories or a Kashi TLC bar in their dark chocolate mocha flavor. Have you heard of a Vita Muffin or Vita Brownie? These can be found in the freezer section of your health food aisle or online at Vitalicious.com. They're 100 calorie brownies or muffins that are high in fiber and low in fat. Plus, they're made of whole grain. Another option would be to whip up a Quaker Instant Oatmeal Low Sugar Maple and Brown Sugar and top it with one teaspoon of dark chocolate chips. It's low in calories, it's half the sugar of normal oatmeal, but it still gives the sweetness that you're looking for. Plus, it's made with whole grains, it's a good source of calcium, iron, and seven other essential vitamins and minerals. A new take on the banana split, take a small banana and peel it, Cut it lengthwise and top it with low-fat vanilla yogurt, walnuts, and fresh strawberries or cherries. So what do you do when you need the real deal, when nothing is going to satisfy that sweet tooth other than the real thing? The rule with chocolate is that if you're going to buy it, only buy the mini versions. Not to be confused with fun or snack size, which are slightly bigger than the minis, but still smaller than the full-size bar themselves. It's easy to see how calories can pile on, especially when most of us are eating more than one in a sitting. Here's our list from lowest to highest calories. Your Hershey Kisses are going to be your safest bet, clocking in at only 20 calories. Try to have no more than three in a sitting. Then we move on to the Three Musketeers Mini at 24 calories. As we move down the list, we see that the Twix Mini moves up to 50 calories, and a Tootsie Pop, 60. Even that Reese's snack-sized peanut butter cup is 110 calories. Other ideas to satisfy your sweet tooth? Try a sugar-free chocolate pudding. It's just 100 calories. Or a single-serving dessert like Skinny Cow Ice Cream Bars for just 100 calories. Now, let's get to baking. With baking, the biggest calorie culprits are the oil and butter, the eggs, and the sugar. Here are some tips and tricks and healthy swaps to lose calories and fat without losing flavor. Substitute equal amounts of applesauce for equal amounts of fat or oil using a liquid measuring cup. This works best for light colored cakes, cookies, and muffins. Another substitute for fat and oil is bananas. Mash them first and then measure the equivalent amount you would have used for butter and oil using a dry measuring cup. Bananas work best in chocolate products like cakes or brownies because the chocolate masks the banana flavor. The same goes for pumpkin, which can be used to replace equal amounts of fat and oil using a dry measuring cup. Lastly, plain yogurt works great in muffins, cakes, cookies, and brownies to keep your baked goods moist while cutting excess fat. For eggs, use two egg whites or a quarter cup egg substitute for each whole egg the recipe calls for. Lastly, in most baked goods, you can reduce the amount of sugar by half. To intensify sweetness, add vanilla, nutmeg, or cinnamon. Other useful tips? Make it mini and freeze leftovers. While getting rid of leftover sweets is a good thing so that you're not tempted at home, please don't bring them into the office. Just like you're working hard to resist those treats, so are many of your coworkers. So let's support one another in our efforts to eat healthy. 
If you want to bring in something for your coworkers to enjoy, bring in fresh fruit or select one of the sweet but nutritious options from the list I mentioned earlier. Trust me, it will be appreciated. For more helpful nutrition and fitness videos, be sure to check out www.pbprojectliving.com.